a certain land that's been living on my A73 as of recently and you can probably already tell by the title of this video but in today's gear review we're going to be talking about the Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master lens. Personally one of my favorite lenses to shoot with for many reasons that I will get to in just a second but I am shooting on it right now and most of my recent videos shot inside this office is shot with this lens right here and just check out all this awesome background blur and isolation on me it's just it's just amazing. This is a dope lens. I think I'm gonna rename this the dope lens. From here on out, I'm gonna be calling this the dope lens now. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the build and overall size of this lens. Uh, this lens is actually super lightweight and compact. And I do believe that this is literally one of the smallest and lightest full frame 24 millimeter prime lenses, uh, comparing it to Canon, Nikon, or Sigma. Sony literally has the smallest compact 24 millimeter F1.4. And you gotta hand it to Sony when it comes to packaging their products. They are definitely the king at that. This lens being so light and compact is probably one of the main reasons why I think this is such a versatile lens. It's not front heavy either like you would get with some other lenses. It feels really good in your hand and the weight is distributed evenly. When you're out traveling, going about your day, uh, it definitely helps to have your camera now weigh 10 pounds. So that is a neat little bonus that you do get of this lens. Uh, it is very light and compact. The lens build is very nice. Uh, this is a G Master series lens. So this is Sony's top tier line of glass. So the quality should be expected. There is aperture ring on this lens that allows you to adjust your aperture manually, which is super helpful. I actually use it a ton when I want to expose my image. And to the right of the lens, there is a click on and off switch for your aperture ring. And turning the lens to the other side, uh, there is a manual focus and autofocus switch as well as another custom button for you to set up So now let's talk a little bit about the focal length is 24 millimeter wide enough and yes I would say it is wide enough. It's not ultra wide like the 16 millimeter But it is wide enough for me to hold out at arm's length and be able to fit my entire upper body in my shot which is so important for the stuff i do i definitely need to be able to vlog get my cinematic b-roll and get good photos off of just this one setup and i'm able to get good b-roll and photos because of that aperture at f 1.4 which is basically responsible for all that nice background blur and bokeh not only that but since you are opening up your aperture super wide you're letting a ton of light into your sensor which is really good actually for low light situations pairing the a7 III with the dope lens is a monster low light setup you could probably get away with just shooting with the full moon by the way here are some recent astro photos that i did shoot with the a7 III and the 24 millimeter Another really cool neat feature on Sony camera bodies is that they do have a crop mode so I can crop into my image and get an extra zoom out of my lens which is typically what I would do when I want to get closer to a subject. You do probably lose a slight bit of quality but here are some example shots that I've shot in the past where I did crop in and get the extra zoom and I would say the image looks fine. It's definitely workable. So essentially this lens right here is a 24 millimeter to 48 millimeter f1.4 if I consider cropping in. So overall, would I recommend this lens to you guys? Uh, yes, I definitely would. This is actually one of my favorite lenses and I definitely think it suits me very well. So if you make videos kind of like me, if you're a YouTuber and you'll freelance sometimes and vlog and shoot photos also, this is a really good all around lens to kind of cover all of that. Um, some other options would be 16 and 35 and the 24 to 70, but those lenses are a little bit more pricier, which is why I opted out getting the 24 millimeter f1.4. Uh, this lens will run you at $1,400, which is pretty expensive, but it's actually considerably a lot cheaper than most other G Master series lenses. So if you are actually planning on getting a G Master lens, this will save you a like $800 if you decide to go of this one over some other ones. If you guys are interested in the dope lens, uh, you can find a link down below and full disclosure, I do get a kickback when you do use that link. So thank you very much for all of you guys who support me. If you guys have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will try my best to get back to you guys. Everything was color graded with my custom LUTs. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll also leave a link to a previous video talking about my picture profile, my color grading settings and all that good stuff. So feel free to check that out. And uh, I think I'm going to wrap things up here. Goodbye.